For the past 12 years, the Sarkeesian family has been committed to organizing a toy drive. This year, Nataline's toy drive will benefit Children's Hospital, L.A., Shriners Hospital, Huntington Hospital, Schools on Wheels, and a few churches. The family does this as a way to give back to the community and to continue to keep the memory of their daughter alive. I just want to make a change. That's the bottom line. And put a smile on these kids. And it's, it gets me really excited to see these kids are smiling, especially when they're in so much pain. Nataline was diagnosed with leukemia when she was 14 years old. She beat it once, but the cancer came back. And Nataline lost her battle at 17. She was always happy. She was always giving, and I feel like I taught her that. That's how I am. She's watching over us. She's guiding us. I mean, all these ideas that I come up with, I don't think it's my ideas. <laughs> She's helping me. The toy drive being one of those ideas. Hilda says toys are a great way to lift kids' spirits. When they receive the toy, it, they forget their pain. Despite the years that have gone by, Hilda finds strength in keeping busy and keeping the promise she made to her daughter. We said we're going to tell everyone in the world her story. And that was a family commitment that we did. She's also committed to making a change in the healthcare system. I want to change ERISA law. ERISA law is when you have insurance through your employer. Anyone that has insurance that has through their employer, ERISA law applies, meaning they could deny your care and you cannot go and sue them. You cannot go after them. After rounds of chemo and a bone marrow transplant from her brother, doctors insisted Nataline's only hope was a liver transplant. But that's when the family says the insurance purchased through her father's work first delayed, then denied the surgery twice, calling it too experimental. The Sarkeesians fought hard. They wouldn't take no for an answer. Their fight gained national attention. Supporters staged rallies. No more denial! No more denial! Even the California Nurses Association took up the cause. With all that negative attention and pressure, the insurance company reversed its decision. Cigna just approved us. But at that point, it was too late. Insurance company cannot decide who's gonna live and who's gonna die. They cannot do that. So with this mission in mind, and Nataline being the guiding light, they keep pushing forward. So this year, they don't have a 17 foot truck, so we had a 15, 15 foot truck with a lifter and everything. So that truck gets filled up. Nataline spent time at Children's Hospital, and this is Hilda's way of giving back. Every Wednesday, these kids receive toys, every Wednesday and they were really, really good to her. And every Wednesday she, she used to receive toys. And I remember one time they forgot to give her a toy. So I went down and complained. The employee was so nice and said, come down, I'll meet you, pick whatever you want for your daughter. As a matter of fact, you can pick something for your son too. I told that employee that I'm gonna make it up to you. I don't know why he said that. I said, I'm gonna make it up to you. So now I'll bring in not one toy, I bring in thousands of toys to them. Nataline's 12th annual toy drive is this Sunday, December 11th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Bring a new unwrapped toy to 17422 Chatsworth Street in Granada Hills. And you know what? In addition to this toy drive, the family organizes a fashion show, Nataline's fashion legacy around her birthday. You see, she wanted to be a fashion designer, and when she passed away, they found a book of sketches in her room. So they select one sketch from that book, and they bring it to life for the show. And then scholarships are provided for students who want to go to culinary, art, medical photography, or fashion school. What an amazing family and a mother's love driven by that passion for her daughter. And I love just the fact, so simply, her shirt says Nataline's mom, I know. which is the best title if you ever have a child, you know, to have and to hold. Yeah, and she still speaks of Nataline um, mm -hmm. in the present because for her, she's always there, you know? Yeah, guiding her for yeah. sure. You could see that and the strength.